like I kind of wanted to see Silent Hill 2 because I I've never seen a speedrun of that but then I thought ah, maybe I don't want to because <laughs> it's like I don't know that that game is kind of personal for me and I don't I, I don't know if I want to see like just people talking over the game and how to break it all the time and yeah, I know I'm speedrunning this game while I say this, it's pretty inconsistent, right? But whatever. <laughs> Alright. a little bit in the system. First number eight. No, first this actually. Oh, number eight. And this is right here. So because you have to go right on that one, you wanna circle right when you do the turnaround. It's like the best way to do it. Uh, there. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. I used to play this game back in the day. Oh, that's amazing. Hello. Good evening, words. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? This game is pretty good. It's probably my favorite horror game. Yeah, right? It's such a good game in the GameCube. I'm actually so glad that this game came on the GameCube. Because um, there is some stuff that on the developing of this game. This game was meant to be for N64 first. But the development got kind of delayed. I don't know exactly why. And they ended releasing the game for GameCube. Which I think is definitely better. Yeah, Silicon Knights and all that shit. You're high for for the version, yeah. Yeah, I actually didn't knew that until like I don't know a couple of years ago. Uh, it's number six. 
Like, I, I remember at that time, I wasn't that too much into horror games. Like, on my N64 era, at least. I get interested in them later, like on GameCube and PS2 with more modern Resident Evils. Like, I played Resident Evil 1 on GameCube. A little bit of Code Veronica on Dreamcast. Also too human? I don't know what what that one. Is another horror game? It's slowdowns. Yeah, definitely. Like, there is a lot of games. Like, N64 had this problem of memory because, like, N Nintendo refused a Sony idea to get CDs. So they, they ended up doing their own console, PlayStation. And that meant that Nintendo, like, the technology of the games were a little bit faster than the consoles. So, that's why th there was the expansion pack, for instance, on X64. There are several games that have, like, even some HD, well, not HD, but high resolution features, but they're not actually useful. <laughs> Like, the N64 can't handle them. <laughs> Hybrid Heaven is one of those. Yeah, this is really smooth. That's what. That's why I say, like, even while we happen to wait a little bit more, I think it was worth it in the end. To have this game on, on GameCube. Time to do my 7 attack. That means I need to shoot a, a pool, a mantra pool, and a mantra bind. So, pool. There. No, don't check, don't check, don't check. Yeah, I remember that when when they announced the. Uh, I'm sorry, I hit my desk. The quote-unquote sequel to this game, Shadows Eternal. Like I remember seeing some pictures of it. Even while it was kind of sad that it was cancelled, I always had this thing that I don't know how easy it would be to do a sequel of this game. Because of how self-contained it is. Like I already told this in my stream, but I feel like the only good sequel you can do of Eternal Darkness would be like a bad ending. Like Alex lose and I don't know, you play like fast forward, humanity a lot of years later and you have to deal with this post-apocalyptic world, something like that. And you can choose which fate destroy the war, something like that. And do a plot over that. And I guess the bad ending could be something like Edward never buying the creature at the end. So basically Alex ended up destroying the war in instead of Pius. Too many legal issues with the deaths. Oh yeah, for sure. That happens a lot. Because it wasn't Silicon Knights, right? It was just some other deaths. 
that's always going to happen when you want to do like a, a sequel of a game that already exists or, or pretty much any any stuff around a game not just a sequel we're going to the old tournament grounds for you making a thread about how a sequel would, would start <laughs> I see oh that was super close that, that Trevor should have killed me. But yeah, but I feel like th this this story is just so self-contained that the only way to do things is something from zero and probably from a bad ending. Number three. Either that or do a uh, like a like an HD remake, same story with more elements, more stuff. In a shore near the beach. Yeah, but then what? Because the artifacts are all, all of them are destroyed, you know? And uh, like at, at the end of this game, and uh, the gods are gone, or at least you destroy two of them. But basically, actually, if, if you do all the all the stuff in the game, Mantric is the only one remaining because technically the multiple universes of the game the plot of Mantor was to kill all the gods and it succeeded create more story yeah maybe That was just now. Okay, I have my bind, right? Yeah, I should have it. delay this pool a little bit but I need to watch for my road because if I just improvise everything's gonna go wrong what happens on speedrun did I did everything right let's find out because <laughs> I'm not used to this road this tutorial so pool yards should be right yeah it is right I did our attack I mean tier right yeah Wait, what? Are you serious? Dennis Dyack? Okay, I'm gonna need to guess our recovery, which super sucks, but whatever.
Okay, this is for the stamina. Because we actually don't have enough stamina to reach the end here. And it's kind of good because we, we can assign that recovery to use it just in, in case of emergency here in the battle. Let's, let's try to do the new strats. We're going to use the new stuff made by Sir, the tosser of this game. Okay, don't attack me. Oh, I actually fucked up. I, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Whatever. I was supposed to do the enchant item a little bit after. Alright, wasn't very good. Okay, please work. Until that, that was totally my fault. That was totally my fault, dude. I lost so much time. You gotta do a normal attack with Kareem. You never had to do like a a head attack. That just sucks so bad. But whatever. I get it on this way. No, didn't work. Whatever. Shotgun, please work this time. Nope. Muscle memory. faster anyway um, that's the ticket alrighty helping someone else makes a similar game on Unreal Engine <laughs> yeah why not uh, where can I Write this, Alex. Alex, shut her again. It is finally over, my dear. Is starting? The yes. ancient's plans are finished. For now, at least. It's on two hours. You have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. 
I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's but yeah, there's not. I, had in mind for you. I think there is not there enough so little cosmic horror games. And so much to do. Like in general. Goodbye, Alex. There's a lot of biological horror. There is some psychological horror here and there. We got space horror, but not cosmic horror, you know? Like Lovecrafty stuff. We just have this game, and yeah, there's definitely more, but I'm not aware of them, at least. I realized that I was not the only one, that there were many others like me in other places, other universes, other universes. fighting the same fight. You can do a game about that. All to serve the needs of the great 